Hello everyone. In my video where I tested the accuracy of the scale trick, one of the comments suggested that I make a pair of these graduated blocks that go behind the scale when you're using it. That way it's easy to see when the scale is flat and level. I thought that was a pretty slick idea, so I went ahead and made up a set for the follow-up video, which should be out right now, and if you haven't seen it, I'll put a link to it in the end card at the end of this video. This video is just a making of for these, so hit that subscribe button and let's get into it. I'm going to use this homemade D-bit engraving tool that I made in a recent video. I'm going to be spacing all of my lines off this back edge that I just found, and I'm going to be putting a line every two millimeters. I thought about doing it every one, but uh, I think I'd probably just be here all day cutting lines, and I don't want to do that. Two millimeters is still relatively fine, and I think it'll give me plenty of reference marks uh, to judge the scale against. And I think also when I fill it in with some black paint to make them stand out, uh, it'll stand out a little bit better because I won't have so many lines. I'm going to use the paper trick to touch this off because I don't want my lines to be very deep. The paper is four thousandths of an inch thick and you can use this stationary or running. I prefer uh, to do stationary when I'm uh, finding the end of a piece like this. Uh, just a little safer and I'm just looking for a little bit of drag right there just enough to grab onto the paper and now I know that I'm four thousandths of an inch above this surface so I just move the part up four thousandths of an inch plus whatever my depth is uh, this should be a five thousandths of an inch depth I'm doing this at 1115 since uh, I mean this is aluminum it's soft but this is a homemade tool and I didn't really get it as hard as I wanted to, so I'm not going to go too fast. It's also not a very deep uh, gouge. Uh, I could probably get away with it, but I'm not sure. I'll see you after this cut. Not the worst finish, but it's not the best either. There's a bunch of chips on the inside, but it seems to be pretty clean actually. Um, a little bit of a burr, but after I uh, paint it, I'll actually go ahead and, um, and sand that off so it's nice crisp lines. As wide as that engraving ended up, I'm, I'm glad that I'm not going with one millimeter spacing. I think that would be too cluttered looking. I'm gonna bump up the speed to 1750 and see how it cuts with that. I don't really see much of a difference. Let's see how the tip's looking. Shouldn't be bad, it's just aluminum. Yeah, it looks nice and pointy. I think we're doing just fine. I'm going to try bumping it up to 2720. I'm going to keep this speed and feed. It seems to be working. Uh, I'll be here all night, so through the magic of television, I will skip ahead to the very last line so you guys can see that. I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear this or not, but check out the sound this makes when I blow air across it. That's awesome. I'm 
I'm going to stop right there because these blocks are going to be sitting on this part of the vice jaws and this gap is about the same height as the vice jaws themselves so anything that I'm going to be checking with the scale trick is going to be above that height anyway plus this gives me a visual indication of which side is the bottom I was originally going to engrave or stamp top up up here um, it also happens to be 42 millimeters and 42 is the answer to life the universe and everything Here's the almost finished product. I've gone ahead and put a, I put a piece of 600 grit wet dry paper against a piece of MDF and just went back and forth uh, to knock the burrs off. And it's very clean looking. Hopefully you guys can see it. I've got a lot of deburring to do on the ends as well. And then I'm going to cut the block in half. Uh, I'm gonna do that because I wanna be able to have one of these blocks on each side of the vice jaws closer to the end of the scale. Here's the finished product just as you saw them at the beginning of the video and hopefully it shows up on camera just how nicely the lines contrast with the surrounding aluminum. As promised, over on the left I have a link to the follow-up scale test video and over here on the right I have a link showing how I made that D-bit engraving tool that I was using in this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave those down below. Hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already, and please consider checking out my Patreon page if you'd like to support the channel.